Hi, my name is Marietta Mahani and this week's aqua tip we're going to be using the noodle and we are going to do a suspended exercise. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a kick to the front, kick to the side. You'll be gripping the noodle and the noodle sweeps across the body as you do this. Let's go. Let's see what this looks like. Front, side. It's a one-legged action and let me talk to you about it as I do it. Now, ideally you're gripping the noodle and ideally it's with your hands, but if you need a little bit more help, you can also place your inside of your elbows against the noodle. But what you'd like to do is try and get that noodle down. Up, out. So it's a strong kick to the front and a kick to the side. The suspended leg, that's the other leg, in this case my right leg, is not doing anything. But what you want to do is try to get that noodle to move from one side of the body to the other. So if we're going to use a clock as a reference, your leg kicks directly to the front and then to the side. In my case, that would be three o'clock or nine o'clock, depending on how you're looking at it. So like a 90 degree angle. What I'm trying to do with my arms is take my arms across from what I call nine o'clock across to three o'clock. So your arms go right around from one side to the other. That's the goal. Here we go. I'll do it with the other leg. Up. And there is a little bit of travelling involved. Let me give it another go. Up, down. Okay, and that's a great exercise. It's getting heart rate up. At that pace, I'm feeling my thighs are working pretty hard, and so have my abdominals. My hands do grip, but it's not really intense gripping because if I've got my upper arms on it, on the noodle, it's also helping with that kicking motion. Up, out. But it's getting my heart rate up. And it's a great quad and hamstring exercise if you pull the heel all the way back. Now, you gotta remember to take that noodle across and I was just sort of forgetting it then. Up, out. If you get them to turn their head as well, you'll get more abdominal activation. This is a great exercise. I really hope that you give it a go and it'll get the heart rate up. The arms don't work so hard, but it's definitely abdominals and lower body. And that is this week's Aqua Tip. Demonstrating this suspended exercise is easy for this one. All you need is a chair and your noodle. Now, place the noodle around your body and indicate to your clients to position their upper arms against the noodle with the goal of pushing the noodle down so that the noodle's across your lower back and you're using your elbows to help push it down. So we're trying to get the shoulders away from the ears, but it will also work that way as you press the noodle down. So then sitting into a chair, kicking to the front, kicking to the side, kicking to the front, kicking to the side, and then take the noodle right across the body. So if 12 o'clock is in front, you wanna take the noodle from three o'clock to nine o'clock, three o'clock to nine o'clock indicating that you are suspended with the other leg. Now you may have noticed that in the video when I was in the water, this leg moved around quite a bit, but it wasn't intentional. So you're not trying to keep the leg still, you're trying to do nothing with that leg and it will move just so that it can counteract the force that's being created by the kicking leg. So if you're seeing that, don't freak out. Just indicate, do nothing with this leg. Everything is all about the strong kicking action 
with the leg, with your right leg in this position and trying to take the noodle all the way around the body. Because it's a seated exercise, it's actually pretty easy to do. The only thing I would recommend is that you encourage forearms uh, against the noodle but push down so the noodle is against your waist. Otherwise, you'll see this creeping up motion happening as the participants bring their arms closer and closer to the surface and up near their chest. We want to keep it down so that as the arms move across, the whole torso rotates as well. And of course, you would then switch over to the other side. As I mentioned in the pool, great cardio workout and great for the quads, fantastic for the vestibular system. And of course, the obliques get a workout too. Now, if you're enjoying these aqua tips, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you are always aware of the next aqua tip when it's released. And that is this week's aqua tip.